In nature, there are many, many different species of plants and insects, and they live happily ever after it in a perfect balance. In farming, we have one crop in one field in one place, so there's no surprise really that we have a problem with pests coming in. Here are some of my carrots, one of the crops that I grow. I have to come up with unique and innovative ways to try and control pests uh, as an organic grower, so I can't use chemicals. I've got to try and do it in balance with nature and what's available to me. Did you know there are nearly a million different species of insects in the world? And actually not many of them affect farmers, but those that do are really, really hard to deal with. In your house, if you had a fly, for example, flying around, you might use this to kill it, or you might use this. But being organic, I definitely can't use that. If I was to go and walk around my 300 football field size of carrot fields and try and swat every pest with this, it wouldn't really be very practical. So I have to come up with some really innovative techniques to try and do it in a more efficient way. I need to know everything there is to know about the pests that come in and attack my crop. I need to know how they live, how they feed, how they breed. How many times per year are they going to come into my crop? When are they going to come into my crop? At what time of day? I need to know every little detail. So when I have guests or visitors, I encourage them to come and help me be pest detectives to look for the aphids. Luckily, I'm not on my own in my battle against the aphids. I've got some cunning allies, some beneficial insects. So rather than show you little tiny insects that they are, I thought I'd show you like this. So here we've got a parasitic wasp that kills aphids. Here is beneficial insect number two. This is a ladybird, and again this will eat the aphids. Beneficial insect number three. This is my favourite. This is the lacewing. The lacewing will hatch and have little eggs, and they will become larvae, baby lacewing. The first thing they need to do is eat, so they're fantastic for me because they go and find the aphids and they eat them. I really want to make it as easy as possible for the beneficial insects to get into my crop and really help me. So they already naturally occur in the countryside, around the outsides of the fields. But what I've effectively done here is create a corridor for them to come in and live on these beneficial banks of flower mixes. So you get these beautiful coloured flowers that they can come and feed and live on and control the aphids for me. I like to show people the seed of my beneficial insect banks. Look at all the different colours and sizes and types of seed in there. It's absolutely amazing. If you compare that to the carrot seeds, which are all planted alongside them, absolutely amazing the difference. Because I grow so many carrots, there tend to be more aphids than my beneficial friends can cope with. Therefore, I have to buy some in, and they come in little containers like this. I love what I do, and I love taking every opportunity I can to explain to people, using props just like these, how I produce fresh vegetables using beneficial insects and other techniques. Farming is magic, and I love it. <laughs>